Hi, I'm Jack Benz, a senior guard for the Wyoming women's basketball team, and today we're going to give you a tour of our new facilities. Uh, today we're going to start first with our sports medicine and training room. So, come on in. So, this is one of the newest upgrades. Um, as you can see, I don't, you know, it's, it's a brand new facility. It's a lot, a lot larger than the old one. Um, we have a lot more training tables. We've got a nice TV in here. Um, here's our trainer Lance Schumann. He's been working with us. Um, just a, a, a brand new, you know, real nice facility. Um, the really cool part is we'll take you over here. This is uh, this is where our cold tub and hot tub. We used to have just a cold tub, but now we have a hot tub to get uh, to get you know both um, heat and cold after practices. Um, most guys get in here before practice, or before games, get warmed up, get the you know muscles loose. Afterwards, there'll be a bunch of us in here, you know, relaxing it and uh, taking it easy. Um, you know, overall, it's just an incredible facility. The training room has been a huge upgrade, and you know, we really appreciate all the donors and all the athletic people that really helped uh, put this all together. So, I think we're going to go to the locker room next. This was our sports sports medicine room, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Jason McManaman, redshirt sophomore guard from Torrington, Wyoming. I'll give you the facilities tour today. I guess we can go in there and check out the team room. New team room. We got we got three TVs. We can come in here and hang out. We can watch TV. Coaches can put stats up. Uh, every every week we have Cowboy Ultra Stat winners. Coaches put that up on the TV so we can all see. Um, a lot of the time. Guys will be in here resting, napping before practice, just resting, getting ready for a practice game. Um, and this, this team room has a lot more seats, so we can all sit in here if we want to have a team meeting or anything like that. There's enough seats for everyone to sit in here at the same time. Is this, did you have anything even similar to this in the old, in the old uh, configuration of the AA, Jason? Um, there was a couple couches and just one TV, so this is a pretty big upgrade. Mm -hmm. It's nice. What's your, what do you like to do when you're in here? What's your most uh, favorite thing to do when you get a chance to be in here? It's like kicking on the couch and turn the TV on and watch some sports. Yeah. Basketball. They look like they're pretty comfortable. They're pretty Very comfy. <laughs> and then if we come over here, we um, got a mural, a new mural on the wall of the six seniors. It's pretty cool. All the seniors. It's really nice. We don't have anything like that in the old team room. And then the last part, we have a little kitchen area over here where we have snacks and we can have stuff before the game. Fridge, we have on occasion we have water and Gatorade in the fridge, um, which is all stuff we did not have in the last team room. So it's a great upgrade. It's been a pretty popular place to be. I know you guys are always busy and playing games, practice and training, weightlifting weights. But is this a pretty popular place to be? Yeah, I mean, when we have a little free time and we're still here, we just kind of all kind of like hang out here and just. Talk, hang out, watch TV, just hang out, whatever we want to do. Speak up. Okay. I'm Charles Hankerson Jr., senior guard from Miami, Florida, and I'm going to now take you on a tour of the 7220 uh, room. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, um, this is the 7220 room right here. Um, this room is designed specifically for interviews. Um, this is where the team, uh, we have our team dinners, um, various team meetings and things like that. Um, it's been awesome to be in here um, for the interview room because I'm actually playing well this year <laughs> and, I've had a, <laughs> and I've actually had a chance to go do some interviews. So it's definitely awesome. These chairs are uh, beautiful, very comfortable. We have refrigerators, um, sinks. Normally after practices, um, they set this entire, uh, entire table up with uh, food um, and various things uh, that we need after practice. So um, the 7220 room, um, it's a great addition um, to the new renovated AA. What do you think, Charles, is different compared to what it was like in the past? Is, this, is, there, more, is there more things for you guys to do in this room? And what, what is it added compared to what it was like in the past here? OK, well, uh, to be honest, to begin with, last year I wasn't really getting that many interviews. <laughs> so this year I'm actually in here. So I'd say that's the biggest difference for uh -huh. me, for me. But other than that, um, I'd say just uh, just the setup of it. Um, uh, 
this room is specifically designed for team dinners, interviews, and just a, a, a place where we can hang out and uh, relax. And now for the next part of the tour, I'm going to take you into the Joe Scott Basketball Theater. This is our brand new film room. Um, and come inside, let me show you. Show you around. Okay, this is the film room right here. Um, film is an essential part uh, of us uh, preparing for our, for our games. Um, our coaches do a tremendous job of um, going over um, other team scouting reports, other team's tendencies. So this room is essential um, to us having success on the court. Um, this is the beautiful theater right here. Um, most of the time um, it's used for productive purposes like the game playing that I said. But um, other times, uh, the team, we can come watch movies in here. Um, we set up uh, PlayStation 4s, Xbox Ones, uh, and various other things. Um, these are the brand new seats right here. Um, these seats kind of get us in trouble sometimes because they're so comfortable, you kind of fall asleep. But, uh, <laughs> but it's definitely a great, uh, great addition to the film room. How, how much different is this room compared to where you would watch film before? Because it seems like this almost is like a mini movie theater to yeah, me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this, this room is definitely um, top notch. Before, our film room was basically a part of our locker room. So you had some guys changing over here, some guys getting treatment, and then other guys watching film. So it makes it a lot easier because when you're in here, you can completely focus on the, um, focus on the film and get ready for the game. So guys, Josh Adams. Junior Gar from Denver, Colorado. I'm uh, just gonna show you around the new weight room here in the A. So as you can see, it's a lot bigger than last year. Uh, we knocked out a couple more rooms, stretched it all the way out. Uh, we're gonna get some more racks in here. This way, uh, you know, we can have the whole team in here uh, get the, the lift on together rather than separating the groups of four. Uh, we got a lot of new stuff here. So we'll go check out some of these. Just got the bike station, a little conditioning area, got the bike, the woodway, the stair climber. Got some TVs here, make it a little bit easier on the for the works, but add some enjoyment to it. <laughs> and then this is probably uh, one of our one of the uh, best parts for our big guys. Uh, I'm not gonna have this part but Explode up, dunk, or explode up, grab rebounds. Uh, then over here we got the, the Kaiser compressed air stations. Uh, a lot of uh, more mobility kind of lifts, a lot of stability kind of stuff. Typical dumbbell rack. So then you got all your squat racks, hang things racks. What's the most evil, at least in your training, Josh, what's the most evil thing in, in this room that makes it uh, so hard? The woodway is awful. <laughs> woodway is the worst thing that happened to the University of Wyoming. It's been here all three years. So. <laughs> Aside from all the new space in here, Josh, what has really been the biggest benefit in your mind with this with this new weight room and training facility? Um, probably the size, uh, just being able to fit the whole entire team in here or come in here on your own. Mm -hmm. uh, it's right next to the locker room, it hasn't changed, but just how brand new it is and how you know perfect it is is real nice. A lot of it makes it easy to live. Who gets after it the most in the weight room when you guys are all in here as a team? Who gets after it the most? Probably DC or Junior. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm a junior and obviously shows, but you know, <laughs> DC's always pushing people to, uh, to get their weights up. So. Right. And what's the what's the probably the biggest theme of the music that goes on? You got to have music when you're working out. So what's who um, a who picks the music and what's kind of the major themes of music that you guys listen to? Uh, Rob usually picks the music. Uh, he has his own playlist, but we kind of have it separated in the days. Me and Larry have Thursdays for R&B Thursdays. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Junior and DC have their day for Meek Mill, that kind of stuff. Uh, but. Really, it's just up to Rob. Rob likes to keep real focus here, so we have no say. So, you know, it's Rob Watts about your strength, don't you? What does he, what does he prefer? It's not like, is it like 80s hardcore no, old school it's, rock, it's, or what does he go with? He's kind of like the radio. Most of the stuff off the radio is just all over the place, kind of, kind of fits everybody's style. Um, I'm Larry Nance Jr., senior forward from Akron, Ohio, and uh, about to take it to the court. One of my favorite things about the way the court's looking right now is I love 
the parquet floor. Like you've got the different color wood and the, I don't know, just the texture of it. It's really, really cool looking. And uh, obviously the lower bowl has all cushion seats now. We have two outstanding uh, jump or jumbo screens and they're great. Got a, uh, I'm looking at something on they these flipped, They right rotated now. the court. Yeah, like it used to be towards the truck tunnel was our sure, yeah. first half basket. Now it's completely rotated so we don't have to look up that tunnel while we're shooting free throws. Um, which is a bonus, it's great. Um, now, instead of our benches and the other team's benches being on that side of the court, maybe they moved to this side so that we could get the student section, which is behind that basket, closer to their bench to cause a little bit more trouble in their timeouts and wreak a little bit more havoc. Um, change the court, change the court named Maury Brown Court. Thank you to him for all he's done for us. And uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty pretty awesome facility. We got new LED boards uh, right at the scorer's table and up at the top here, and it's it's a top-notch facility. It's really cool. When you guys started practicing in here this fall, what was some of the biggest things just as for you and, and the players to get used to? Was it because the court's been rotated and the shot lines, or what, what was some of the biggest adjustments you had to make as players? Uh, biggest adjust, adjustments? Yeah, I mean, like you said, shot lines. I mean, we we're, were so used to having what we used to have and uh, knowing where the lights were at, knowing where you can look up and not be blinded and stuff like that. And so it was it was getting used to a little bit. Sometimes you'd go up for a rebound and get hit in the face because you can't see the ball. There's lights up there. And, uh, no, it was definitely uh, definitely a learning process, but it's, it's okay. been a great facility to us. And uh, especially this summer, the extra, the extra practice space for me individually. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I couldn't practice with guys this summer, so I got to work by myself on a court, non-contact stuff like that. So I'm just real thankful they put that in, and it's it's a beautiful, beautiful. Did it also help too? I mean, a lot of times in the old configuration, Larry, you know, you just had the one court, so you guys doing a drill. Some guys would be standing on the side and waiting around. Right. Probably wasn't a lot of that now. When 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 the practice is going, a lot of guys can be doing a lot of different things. I imagine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Coach makes sure to utilize all four baskets we have in here, whether it's. You got so 10 guys on the court and two guys shooting free throws or eight guys on the court, four guys shooting free throws, just somebody doing something all the time so there's no downtime in practice. Keep us moving. Um, he makes sure to utilize that space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Trey Washington, sophomore guard from Dallas, Texas. And this is a new men's basketball locker room. Yeah, you guys can get from the Cowboys. Very detailed. You know, she said it's nice. You know, you got all the individual lockers. Oh, we got a one. You see, I'll take a picture. They got my locker right here. Oh, they're giving the full name. You know, where you're from. I know you see the Hagerson. Yeah. A couple guys getting ready for practice. Yeah, I told them how the 16 fours are. Hey. You see, got the dirtiest locker out of all of us. You know. Not even dirty. That's the. That's the junior stuff. Watch out, man. We got the big screen TV. You know, we watch all the basketball games, highlights. DC is number one sports uh, sports team. <laughs> How they end on Chris? I right, see my house. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta get up out of here. It's just very, very, very new and much larger than the last year's locker room. Besides from the, the size, I mean, what do you guys, what do you really like about it? Is it the, the big TV or just the amenity? What do you really like about this uh, new locker room? It's more comfortable. Lay down pretty much anywhere in locker room. Uh -huh. Just the comfortability is just, just big for us. Is it a fun place to even hang? I mean, I don't locker room. Is it a fun place to hang out? Do you find you? I mean, you got the team room. You got so many things in there. Do you find you guys we hanging out in your locker room more than we are in the gym? Uh -huh. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much our domain. This is where we all come to just hang out and just chill any time of the day. Of all the things that have changed around here, Trey, is this maybe the most significant to you, your most favorite, or what, what's been the biggest uh, thing you've enjoyed the most with all the new renovations um, in this building? Me, more so the arena. The arena's nice. I, I can stay in the gym 24 hours if they allow it. But I, I, I like the gym more than anything. The locker room's great, too. 